Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what is on my iPhone. Now this is a trend that's been going on for ever. Like this is a trend that's been going on since I kind of want to say 2012, but it might even go before that. I don't even know, but like it's been going on for like at least five years. Like tons and tons and tons of people do this trend, um, but I've never done it and it was also a request. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead, do it. See how this works. Um, I've never done a video like this, so hopefully you guys like it. You have to let me know like what you guys like, what you guys don't like. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. They know what to say. Okay, so to go ahead and start off, I do have the iPhone 6. This isn't the newest phone in the world. However, um, I've only had an iPhone for like two years now, so I'm just grateful that I have one. I used to have like one of those like, remember those like slider phones where, you know, like it had the screen and then like you would slide up and then there was like a full keyboard. Comment down below if you remember these because those are super, super old, but that's what I had. Um, and then I have this cool case on the back. It just is, um, it's an otter box and this is one of my favorite colors. And then I also have one of these like um, these little, I don't even know what to call them, but they hold all of your credit cards and like your student ID and things like that. Um, so going along, this is my home screen. So there's a quote that says, there's no shortcuts. So stop thinking that you should already be there. And this is something I've struggled with kind of for a while now. Like it's something that I just constantly feel like I should already be doing something. I should already be, you know, like it's just the constant reminder that's like, stop thinking you should already be there because like, I don't know it's just it's a really nice reminder to just have all the time so I do have this on my lock screen so going in this is what you see at first it looks really like normal like everyone else's iPhone however I'm gonna go ahead and tell you it's organized chaos my I can tell you where every single app is I know my phone like the back of my hand but I'm gonna tell you if you have bad anxiety maybe this isn't the best video for you to watch because my apps are all over the place like I might have like Instagram here Twitter here whatever here like it, it's all over the place so hopefully it won't freak you guys out too much this is the last photo that I totally just took it is me with like nearly 300 K cups um, there was like a big gigantic sale and I was like, I have to. And it's like salted caramel, there's like pumpkin, sp or there's um white chocolate, caramel, cappuccino, there's pumpkin spice cappuccino. Oh my gosh, I went all out and then my friends made fun of me, but that's beside the point. By the way, if you wanted to go ahead and follow me on any of my social media platforms, my username is at CourtneyRain underscore pretty much across the board. So. If you wanted to do that, that would be super, super awesome. Let me know that you came from this video because I would love you forever. I'm going to wait to show you exactly how I edit my Instagram photos until like a little bit later on in the video, but I definitely use Visco, Facetune, and then I also use um, Layout sometimes. And there's like two other ones on the other page of my iPhone that I also use as well. But to show you some apps that I absolutely love, none of these are sponsored, but the one that I absolutely love is We Heart It. So this is an app that is just like, it's kind of like a Pinterest, but it's not. I don't know. It's, it's for me so much easier to use than Pinterest. And then if I ever wanted to save any of them, I just hold on to the picture and it'll automatically pop up and I can just save from there. I've never mas mastered exactly like Pinterest, but I have mastered We Heart It and it is awesome. I have a few like weight loss or like healthy apps. I don't use them very often. Do you guys have like apps on your phone where you like, you know you don't use it, but you're too lazy to delete it, if that makes sense? Because I have a bunch of those on here. Um, and for instance, it would be my, you know, the ones where I count like my calories or I, you know, my run keeper. So like Lose It is actually a very, very good app to use and same with um, Run Keeper. So Run Keeper is actually interesting because you can, um, you basically turn on the app and then you go for your run and it can actually track exactly where you are. I just think that's so cool and it can actually track like, you know, how how much you ran and how fast you ran and I just think that's a really cool concept. It does drain your battery super, super fast though. So I have my Pandora. I am more of a Pandora girl than I am Spotify, which all of my friends are all Spotify, but 
Before you guys see this, I have the most embarrassing playlist ever. Like, I am a Hannah Montana girl, and I'm constantly listening to Hannah Montana. Cameron Dallas playlist is also really, really good, and then Eminem is like my running jam. Um, I have my diet coach, but I'll be honest, I don't really use that. And then I also have Seven, which is actually a very interesting app. So you do have to pay for certain features on the app, but like they always give you like one free workout. So like the one that I think I had recently was like inner thighs or something. I'm going to go ahead and slide over to the other screen, but I don't want any judgment here, okay? Because it only gets worse. It only gets more and more cluttered. Just to show you a few of my favorite apps on this one, if you are a college student, Quizlet is like your holy grail of apps for students. So one of my favorite things is I don't like to sit down and like I just don't have time to sit down and write handwritten note cards for everything. So I always go on Quizlet and I'll like create something. And what's interesting is they have a microphone option. So I'll click this and I'll say biology. I love this app. It's honestly awesome just because like, you know, you could basically just read your notes and it records everything. It's great. I love this thing. I have Musical.ly and then I also have Hive. So Musical.ly I am not a fan of. Like, I don't know why. I just don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. Like, I guess like I'm just, I'm not a singer. I'm not a dancer. So like, I guess I almost feel as if like I don't belong on that platform. And then Hive is one of the newest social media platforms. Once again, let me know if you guys are um, on Hive because I will follow you, seriously. Um, but my username, once again, is just um, at Courtney Rain underscore. You click on the little Hive down here and you can click like beauty and style and then you click one of these. I don't know, this is a really cool app and so far I haven't seen like any negativity. It's all positive stuff and I go Hive. I think that's awesome. Okay, so I know what picture I'm going to go ahead and show you. So this is a unedited picture that I just recently put on Instagram, but I'll go ahead and show you the final result of what actually went on Instagram and then I'll show you how I edited it to get to that. Yeah. I am so confusing. Like I can't talk and do things at the exact same time. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite filters to use is I usually stay within A5 and A6. Um, those are my favorite ones. I don't know. It gives like almost like like a purpley, like you can see it kind of gives like this like purple tone. So those are usually my go-tos. So I'm going to pick A5 and then I'm going to sort of lower it to, let's go ahead and say seven. Like basically you just mess around with it. Um, there's really no right or wrong way of like editing a photo as long as it goes with your aesthetic, which I don't really have an aesthetic. I like to use tint because it like, I like getting that like pinkish color to a lot of my photos. People don't even realize that I do that. All right, so I'm saving this picture. Get that all saved and then I'm going to go ahead and take this into Facetune. I did not Facetune this photo originally to get it to where it was. However, um, I am going to just gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do this. If I were to take that photo in, you can do so, so much with it. Like if I really wanted to zoom in, I could like add some detail and make my mascara stand out, which is like insane. Um, I just think that's so, so crazy, but you can, it's a small difference, but it's definitely there. Um, and then I can also go and add white to my photo and really make my room stand out. And actually in this photo, I whitened out my walls. As you can see, my walls are very, very yellow. I whiten them out so that my room looks whiter than it actually is, which is a really awesome like little hack that I love to do to really keep your aesthetic the same, even though maybe your room isn't like aesthetically pleasing, you can always whiten it out. And personally, I would just leave it here, but if you really wanted to do something like I don't know, if you wanted to go crazy, you can like, even like, okay, that was bad, but like if I really wanted to like change the size of my head or something, you can do that. Like it's, oh, that's an attractive look, guys. That's what I need to start doing more often. Um, but no, I don't really like to like do any of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it into Afterlight because those 
um, are the most popular apps for me at least. So I'm going to go ahead and here, maybe I'll just add a little light beam. Like I said, I haven't done this in so, so long, um, but just so you guys can see how I do it. So I'm going to add, why not? You know, let's just add a little bit of a white beam. No, let's go here. Change it to a white dish. Like a white beam. Flip it over here. No, don't like that actually. Would be this. So you can see, like, I, like, they're pretty easy to edit my photos. For the most part, I really just stick to Visco and Facetune. And that was it for my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to go ahead and give this a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. I mean, you've already, you already made it to the end, so you might as well just, like, stick around and join this beautiful family that we have here. Real quick before I go ahead and end this video, I want to go ahead and give some shoutouts to the OGs of this channel. You guys have literally been around since, like, the very beginning, so I want to go ahead and give you guys some shout outs. McKenna and Katie, for one, I see your tweets all the time, and like, I don't understand, I don't think you understand how much those mean to me. Um, like, I'll retweet them, like, I'll write back to you, and like, I don't think you understand how much they mean to me. So, thank you so much. I also want to give a shout out to Abigail, which I saw your video that you put me in, and like, one, I'm so happy that you won that contest because you deserved it, girl. And then also, like, I just, I really appreciate that you took the time out of your day to, like, make a video. So thank you so much for that. I also want to give a shout out to Madison Fox, Mia Mia, and Joyce, and Meg Silla, or S Silva. Meg Silva. So thank you guys so much. Seriously, you guys mean the world to me. And it, it honestly brightens up my day to know that, like, you guys watch all my videos and you comment on all my videos. So thank you so, so much. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. If you haven't already subscribed, click the subscribe button down below. I mean, literally, you've already made it to the end. You might as well just do it at this point. So we're going to go ahead and end it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.